Well, hello there, EFAP Mini Super Chat Catch Up episode. Oh, the guess here would actually be two four nine. I think that was it was like right before the uh, the anniversary. So that's the guess I'll put in. Who knows if I'm actually right? Or two four eight. It was one of the earlier ones. But Ethan Klein versus XQC Epic Debate the uh, React Wars chapter ten thousand and six, and probably nowhere near even halfway through Not the overall that. book. No way. Nope. <laughs> It'll just keep going. But anyway, we got some messages, some super chats from some people who sent them in, and I thought we'd have a little look see. Little read. Right. Okay. Time with XQC D's nuts. Oh my goodness gracious. What what an what a vulgar and awful message. Horrifying. Wow, this is not representative of our community. Exactly. Craziness. Have you heard of the new TV show coming out starring XQC and Hassan? It's called Game of Chairs. Oh ho ho! Game of Chairs. Oh my god! Well, yes, and uh, not much sitting in them even needs to be done, does it? It'll be a great. It's, it'll be a bit a great bit of modern art. Winter is coming, Chet. Winter is coming. Where the fuck is my metal bitch, Baller? Ball of Rage. That's metal. Metal makes metal. Yeah, bitch. It's metal's thing. Complain to Mootle. Shut up, Adam. Five dollar super sent from Dev's burner account. Oof. Adam wasn't there to hear that, so he's okay. Survive. Metal figure, or we riot? Riot in Metal's house. It's up to Metal. <laughs> Burn his house down. Oh my goodness. His metaphorical house. 27 months, Pog. That's more than likely a membership. Thank you very much. Uh... Mulroney makes his videos to promote plushies. Cry, laugh, face. Oh yeah. Well, I didn't promote anything in the, right. the Soka one. So. <laughs> That's right. I didn't even say goodbye in that one. I was just like, I'm out. Fuck <laughs> this. Uh, hey, Fab Crew. Looking forward to another chapter in the React Wars saga. Just got my wisdom teeth pulled this morning, so I was a little loopy. But I'm glad I've not regained consciousness enough to catch. No, I'm glad I have regained consciousness to catch a new stream. Uh, your discussions make the pain go away. Oh, that's nice. Getting the wisdom teeth pulled, less nice. Very painful. Those things get dug in, you know? Um, but hey, good that it's out. Recover well. Best of luck. Crispy critters, long man. My schedule can't handle these surprises. My life revolves around this stream, long man. I can't wait for the vid and the anniversary. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of that, and you've got plenty more, because it leads right into the old Oktoberfest, uh, which is just videos aplenty. Thank you, Wayne. I was uh, doing a catch-up with Drinker, and he was just reminiscing about his favorite the Groundskeeper Willy lines. <laughs> and <he's, laughs> and I, was, I was immediately thinking about Scotch-toberfest, but he immediately went to, um, <laughs> that's the last time you'll slap your Willy around. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Willie's got a lot of good lines with the yeah Scotch Toberfest. There's no such thing as Scotch Toberfest. There's not. You used me, Skinner. You used me. And there's all those people <laughs> just looking like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and, and Skinner looks kind of sad, like he doesn't feel good about having used. Poor, <laughs> poor Willie. He just wanted to be yeah. a part of something, you know. Hello, my Ewoks. Hey, Mola. Among. Hey. Irish and Scottish, my ancestry says I've got the Welsh in me. Does that mean my critiques are poor? Yes, and yes, long. It does. It's genetic. Long and Something poor. Something you can do. If you have kids, it'll be the same way. Going for the old boy re-release covering this massacre. The vinyls look fantastic and excited for the video this weekend. Well, well. Yes, I've uh, I've got the proto one. I think you do as well, right, Fringy? Yep. Do you have your proto version style. rags? No, I don't. They're rather interesting. I'm gonna get my uh, three of them. Probably try and get them on on one of my monitors. See if I can use some glue. I don't know. Nice little little set. Um, but yes, they will be on their way. As far as I'm aware, January is when you can expect them all to ship. Uh, yeah, it looks that way. Behold, my awesome milestone! Behold, twenty three months. Thank you very much. Um, Humpty Dumpty with all the king's horses. Wait, this isn't the hub search bar. This is EFAP. React harder. We do react hard. Yeah. It's our whole thing. S class is best class. Puns are fun. Puns are fun. Puns are fun. Puns are great. Oi, Molly, you're bald. And mauled. And uh, I think one of the ones that 
Denim said was mulch or something like that. Mulch? So like you're bold and angry and mulch. I don't know if mulch and mold and mulch, and mulch or something, but yeah. You know, the evolution of language is beautiful in its own way. Is it? No. I thought Mola Viral was holding a ruler. It could be a ruler. It could be anything. It could be a little chocolate bar if you Whatever want. Whatever you want it to be. Yeah. I get the feeling by the end of this EFAP, the crew will be acting out the opening song from Aqua Team Hunger Force. I don't think so. Uh, well, we didn't, and we survived it, which was the important part. Difficult, mm -hmm. but pulled it off. Uh, hey, Sitch and Dev, what are y'all's feelings on calling Hassan and co. the Twitch aristocracy? I think they would be relatively on board with that. I, I mean, surely they would recognize that, right? Like, that they're... Yeah, there's an in-crowd at the top of Twitch, they all help yeah. each other, and that is really hard to get in. Um, that's just, yeah. It, there's in, you know, a shake It's a is different indeed. ecosystem than YouTube. YouTube is too big. Yeah, there's pockets of know, huge YouTube. YouTubers everywhere that all have different yeah, crossovers. Yeah, and then you can say that they're in specific spaces, there are people who are at the top, whether it's, you know, like, video specific video games or politics, yeah. I guess, but like in Twitch, there's definitely much more of a, a clear sort of, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess you could call it an aristocracy, sure. Uh, I'm joining the USAF, finished with MEP5 yesterday. I'm officially in the delayed entry program, shipping in November for those two months. No EFAP. Sad. Oh, That is sad. Well, just think of all that in your heart. you'll have when you come back. Plenty mm -hmm. of new episodes. In fact, you'll That's have true. a hell of a lot, because <laughs> that's just a high number of releases. But hey, uh, best of luck, of course. Being a team isn't easy, but it's the correct choice. Well, I, I hope being Team Adam is, is, is the best thing to do. I assume that's... Yeah, as Sitch is ass class and Adam is A team. That makes the most sense. More, I just saw the makeshift... Makeshift, sorry, has a long boy uh, plush option. Any chance we'll see a mutually long boy in the future? Also, hi, Fragsy. Hello. Wait, is um, that me too? I guess, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so they do have long plushies, so it does make sense that I would do something like that at some point, I guess. Um, feels weird if I wouldn't. I'm not sure if you guys would we do three long plushes or a long <laughs> one and two normals. I have no idea. Uh, assuming Muller hasn't played the Stanley Parable since his last stream, he has three, three, two, four days left until he gets the super go outside achievement. Well, I guess we'll have to wait a bit on that one then. But I'll get it. Santa is a big believer in the JQ. I don't know about that. I'd have to. I'd have to talk to him. I don't even know what those letters are. Uh, also watched Asmongold's reaction to Shoe on Head's video. Pretty good example of transforming content and offering commentary. I haven't seen Asmongold react to like all of his all the stuff he's done, but I watched his one to Drinker semi recently, and it was all right. Like him it's adding fine. stuff. It's not as good as I'd like it to be, but he's way better than um, you know, like an XQC or a yeah. Area. Oh, that's uh, got a big job interview coming up in a few hours. Was super anxious until I drilled Rag's advice into my head. Dare I say, appear pensive. Echoes in my mind every time I nearly say um or like. Thank you, best doggo. Oh, pensive. you're welcome. <laughs> appear pensive. <laughs> well, I mean, go. it is true that, uh... Wow, I mean, case in point. You don't, you don't need to fill the silence with an um or an ah. Uh. It's okay. Silence is okay. I think and that's... And it makes you look smarter when you... Especially if you put your hand on your chin and either look up or look down. Then that makes you look really uh, pensive. Um, I think an awkward version of that has been employed with Braun. I, uh, I think instead of having him stutter or break in any way or go, hmm, he... He'll just... It'll be, it'll be a pause. It'll be nothing. There was a couple mm -hmm. times I noticed that editing. Um, he takes, like, pauses in the middle of sentences for no reason at all, and then, if you guys remember, there's that part where Morgan Elspeth is like, shouldn't we send more people to help? And he just stares at her for, like, three seconds, and then says, no, two will be enough, or whatever. And it's just like, oh, I think they try to go for the, uh, the sort of pensive Which, thinker. Uh, I guess that's something. Well, I'm trying to say it's awkward. <laughs> I don't think they've employed like it very it. well. Oh, okay. Well, but I mean, but I mean, you would you would agree that you can definitely have a character who never ums and ahs and occasionally has those breaks in their uh, sentences that that can work, but it's more contingent on delivery, is it? What kind of delivery would you be imagining, though? 
So I don't think you should just have random, seemingly random. So say for example, right, if not, I wanted to say not random, sure, sure. Because that's that's one of the things they've done with him that I, I'm not a fan of. Like if if I said to you guys, uh, we'll be leaving in the morning at five p a.m. or whatever, and I put a gap in between those that was like two seconds, just be like, why? <laughs> like you could have just had that continue. But if there's a gap, like, what is it you're thinking of? You know. Yeah, and then and then when someone says something like um, like she did, where she's suggesting they help the mercenaries even though he doesn't care if they die or not, I don't think like I almost consider it not subtle the fact that the camera just sat on his face, him staring at her for a while. It's like, oh right, he wants them to die, and then he says he doesn't right. care if they die. It's like, why did you? <laughs> I thought well, it was over enough. To say that. Yeah, he doesn't need to just outright declare his intentions. If anything. That should probably be the way that Thrawn works, is that his intentions Absolutely, to yeah. are always difficult to ascertain. I think the correct way to have done that, like, you know, S tier, is she says, shouldn't we send more to help them? And then he just says, um, no, they're more than capable. And then we go like, yeah. oh, maybe he's Absolutely. doing that on purpose to let them die. And then, like, a tier below is him pausing, looking at her, almost smirking, and then being like, no, I'm sure they'll be fine. It's like, oh, I get it. And then the worst <laughs> tier is him being like, I do not care if they die, actually. And it's like, oh. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, they kind of did both tier two and three, so. I mean, something I've said is that I don't, I don't, like, I don't mind the performance so far, but Thrawn is already making some dumb decisions, so it's not a good sign. Yeah, um... <laughs> I would say it's almost catastrophic if you consider everything. Uh, every single oh, thing sure. that he's done is really... It, he looks like a complete moron right now. I mean, it's... the fact that he couldn't have found Ezra in, what, a decade, maybe? More? Like, how long has he been there? A decade, right? How did he not find Ezra with a giant Star Destroyer and many, <laughs> and many, 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 many Stormtroopers? Ezra lives on his doorstep with a he's bunch of crabs. over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. I mean, he's find uh, what's the name? Sabine rode a dog horse. I For presume like the TIE fighters are faster than a dog horse. Mm -hmm. And she found him in, like, what, two hours? Meanwhile, they'd be there for ten years and he couldn't find them. It's It's the problem we, we've talked about before with, uh... Yeah. You always, you know, when, when writing stories, you want your hero to encounter the villain. You want them to have conversation. But there's mm -hmm. only so many times you can put them in the same you know room. Uh, it, before the conflict has to come to an end some way. Because they're both trying to stop each other or kill each other, you know? Only doesn't do real characters, so this would never happen. But imagine, like, in order to stay hidden, he would have had to have done some really drastic stuff, like living uh, in the deepest uh, of caves, living off like you yeah. know insects. Oh and yeah, stuff. he should be haggard. Imagine if yeah, uh, his clothes are all up, ruined. He's, looking, and he's like he's... gaunt. He's he's slender. Well, and, his... and, and like actually balding, like lows, like you know, not pulling uh, into yeah, golem so level. Like but... the, the sacrifice, like let's show what the sacrifice actually looks like and which then is, no he's when, not living happily with a bunch of hermit crabs it cost him yeah a bunch of wholesome crabs doing happy fun times and and <laughs> when she turns up and she's like oh you know i'm here he can be like no 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 you've ruined everything no like you being here yeah, means everything's yeah. fucked well, wait, well, yeah exactly the fact that he's really chill is Sucks. bad he should be the fact that she's here is already bad enough but that she's not telling him how she got here he should be like, you're about to undo everything. Look at me. Like, I did, look at, like, you know, I made these sacrifices and you're about to undo it. For what? But, yeah, it'll all be chill. It'll all be fine. They'll just be going back on their classic Rick and Morty adventures. <laughs> and then, yeah. that'll be that. Proof that XQC can't turn off the camera even when the maid comes in to clean up his filth. What the fuck? Also, hi, Rags. Hello! Yeah, that that whole clip is just odd and weird. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny, and then the the meat canyon animation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, Rex. Hello. Konnichiwa, Rex son. Oh, Konnichiwa. Um, Slam. What'd you bring me? Also, hi, Rex. Hello. Best part was the paid actor reacted from chat. That was a great part. Yeah. <laughs> you clearly paid this guy to complain about me to make me look bad. Uh, Jama Lama. Not sure what that's referencing exactly, except when I see Jam in relation to XUC, I know what it makes me think of. I'm thinking of changing my name to I'm a Lama, so XQC pronounces it right. Well, I'm a Lama <laughs> instead of Jam a Lama. XUC is so dumb, Sitch will give up on democracy and individual rights after this one. It would definitely challenge that, yes. It's a counter-argument. 
Gravik has Groot's DNA. Just plant his finger in a pot. Oh yeah, that'll save him. Um, <laughs> he'll give us a new Gravik. Uh, new Gravik. I mean, um, as has been pointed out, why why would him getting a shot through like why would that kill him when he had all of those crazy super duper powers? If he has Captain Marvel powers, like I presume that Captain Marvel can't blow a hole in herself like with her. Uh, I don't think like, so. Like, I never knew that was possible. To be fair, yeah. I never I knew mean, Captain Marvel could be flattened by a statue either, so... Uh, yeah, but wasn't the cope that uh, Wanda was stealing her powers or something? Yeah, but I guess I'll just argue that that's what the lady did to him, I guess, then. Oh, what, so she has, uh... Wow, I mean, does she have Scarlet Witch powers? Well, it makes more sense to steal her powers with Captain Marvel powers, because they're the same powers, than to steal with witchcraft, which... How do you steal cosmic which, powers I don't with know witchcraft? how you steal... Yeah... Yeah, I, I don't it know about that. It all makes complete that. sense. It's very tight. I love it. It's super coherent. Man, Secret Invasion, just everybody fucking Banger. hated that A one. Winner. Didn't they? <laughs> yeah, this is, you know, this is this is pretty goaded. This is pretty amazing, amazing memes. I don't think anyone was caught dead defending Secret Invasion by the time that shit finished. No, ever, everybody <laughs> gave up on it, uh, which, you know, it's terrible. Um, but I mean, it's it's as terrible as many other <laughs> Marvel did, projects. Yeah, because it does follow the same sort of approach that, like, even going all the way back to One Division, right? Like the ending being the stupid, over the top CG battle. Some stupid CG battle, yeah. And like nobody likes that. Just, just there's just nobody. I, there's probably like one or two. Oh god, the React channels. They probably liked it. Because well, there were a few people who, were, well, sure, but now that <sighs> they know that people don't like it. You know Miguel what I mean? Cries it's kind of like when when she punched what, cried a hole when she him. punched a hole in him. Just got. Did anyone cried when, when she, she did the Draxom? <gasps> Draxom, Draxom! <laughs> oh my god, Draxom! Oh my god, it's the Draxom! I remember Drax. <laughs> he was my look favorite Drax. Arm. I like he Drax. Was... <laughs> oh, Drax, I'm funny. Drax, I'm funny. Uh, a hundred memberships from J Mac. Jesus, thank you very much. Jeez, wow. Hi, Mullet. Did you know that Unicorn Coom is farmed in Llanperpul Gwyngilgogeri Hwijidrobwilatisirigogogog? No, I didn't know that, but a lot of things that are mysterious happen there. Um, I feel like people would want to visit that place just to say they visited it. Maybe that's good for tourism, making your place name one of the longest in terms of Weird. records. <laughs> I don't get yeah, objects. Maybe. I just don't understand them. Objects? Yeah, this person doesn't understand objects, I guess. Oh, well. Sure, well. Okay. <laughs> like, Alright then. <laughs> no, I say, Fringy, no! Last time Earth had a major patch, we lost the dinosaurs. Well, when was I, uh, a patch? Have you advocated for patches to the universe or something? I don't know. To the universe? No. Uh, not, well, no, not I mean, that I, I can would. remember. I feel like us. Uh, any bullshit we'll patch, you hope it doesn't roll anything back in a bad way. Yeah, no yeah, wipes. of course. That's the thing, no wipes. You want good patches, yeah. Yeah, good patches are good. Bad patches, though, oof. They're bad. Yeah, what's up with this? There's this weird bug where sometimes I'll sleep for eight hours and I'll wake up and I'm still tired, so they definitely have to patch that one. That's back one of the ones out. that needs fixing like they crazy. Need to, they need to fix that bug, because boy, that is. That's not fun, let me tell you. Uh, silence, Dev. I'm providing a job to hardworking immigrants, but seriously, if you have housekeepers, make their job easier and don't be a complete slob. My family picks up all the clutter so our housekeepers don't have to clean around our stuff. Yes. I mean, I don't even... Well, make other people's jobs something that needs difficult. to be said? <laughs> you know what I mean? Why, why does it need to be said that even if you've got cleaners that you don't need to, like, like shit make all over their the job as... <laughs> just leave all your shit everywhere? That, that just sounds like a skit, doesn't it? Like, someone just takes a shit on the floor, they're like, well, I have you as a maid. It's like, okay, but, like, you could have done that <laughs> in the toilet. Like... You, didn't, you didn't need to do this, no. buddy. Don't worry, guys, I'm here to make sure you're all on your best behavior. S-class is best class. I'm not necessarily in S class. Just saying, yeah. I've I've not declared my allegiance. Uh, XQC and Asana are now a new breed of DSP levels of lol cow. More rich, less ugly, but all the same habits. High rags, Baldur's get... Gate, three thoughts. Um, I haven't played it yet. It's on my to do list. It's mm. on my to do list. But I'm excited. The... I'm avoiding spoilers. But I've hear I hear like nothing but great things about it. 
on the the whole idea that Hassan and XQC are lol cows, I feel like it doesn't work when I, I don't I don't feel like you're a lol cow, cow if you make like a hundred million dollar deal. <laughs> you know, it's you know um, what I mean. Yeah, just like I know PSP, what you mean. Th there needs to be some threshold of success when the you're no pornous? longer a lol cow. Essentially, you have to be poor enough to be a lol cow. Uh, well, kind of like that. The, there's a level of uh, it's hard to be like. You know, you could say that their attitude stinks or whatever, and that there are aspects of them that suck and are pathetic. But I mean, at the end of the day, like they're they're very successful. So I don't I don't know. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if that fits into what the category of lol cow is. I feel like a lol I mean, cow needs to be. You could just say as well that it's weird to have a lol cow that's got like thirty thousand plus adoring fans. Uh, on uh, yeah, it's weird to have a lol cow who is considered by many many people to actually be like an authority on uh on politics yeah. and like morality. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, it's not about a unified lol cow, it's more so just a yeah, lol cow like to certain DSP, communities. The majority, you know, there are a lot of people who don't know anything about DSP other than, oh, he's like that loser, let's play dude who's not good at video games. Yeah. Uh, whereas, yeah, I don't know. I feel like if you said, oh, Hassan, that you'd, there'd be, there'd be like a much greater chance of someone going, yeah, I watch Hassan, he's a funny guy. And he's got some interesting, you know, perspectives. So, yeah, I wouldn't say that they're lol cows. <laughs> But they are certainly hilarious idiots at times. Oh yeah, they're they're hilarious morons. Um, jeez, Michael J. Fox has a better handle over his pockets as that Ethan Klein does over his eyebrows. Yeah, but he has Tourette's. It's a there's ticks. And... They can't really yeah. What's to be done about it? As far as I'm aware, Michael J. Fox's Parkinson's is like really bad now, right? Because he's... Uh, well, I mean, he got diagnosed very young compared to the average yeah. person. I think he was only in his 30s. Or f I think he might have even been, like, in his late 20s when he got diagnosed. Um, Yeah, like, he, he got diagnosed really early, uh, so it has advanced a lot, but he's, you know, doing all that Parkinson's, like, advocacy, and mm -hmm. he, I, I need to watch that, uh, there was, like, a documentary that came out recently about him. It was, uh, yeah, I heard it was good. I need to, I need to check it out. Uh, this just says, you brushed that one off, Rags. Who knows what it may refer well, to. Yeah, I don't know. But whatever it was, we brushed it. Mulder's Gate 2, Shadows of XQC. I think it was a Mulder's meme about that, Gate. wasn't it? <laughs> or made all of the main characters of Mulder's Gate, like, bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that does ring a bell. Like the, it's the, like the, the box art for the game, but they're all bald. <laughs> Um, I think there was a point missed. If Ethan needs a time machine to prove there was damage, does that mean that anyone who wanted their ten times payment would need to prove that as well? Then ask uh, what his standard for them would be. Can't remember. That that could be true, because the thing is, it wasn't drilled further down. In like, it certainly wasn't from me to him. When he said that he's willing to compensate people who like ask for compensation when their video's been essentially stolen, I thought he meant that that was just like a clean thing of like, you ask, I'll, I'll give, but nobody does because nobody thinks it's stealing. I thought that was it. I didn't realize that there would be another, like, you have to prove it and you can't prove it unless you have a time machine. <laughs> At that point, like, Which, oh. I mean, that, that's real. Like, what the, what the fuck is that? It's not worth anything, man. <laughs> Hi, Rags. Hello. I bet Ethan's third child will be born bald. Oh, no. An angry baby. Uh, XQC and Ethan boxing match when? Boogie and Wings could be their trainers. <laughs> I wonder if they'll do a rematch. Uh, I mean, if the price is right, surely. I would have thought, yeah. I wonder how much that was made on that I happening. mean, Boogie, Boogie would probably do it again. It's Again, it's always going to be down to whether uh, you can get good old Wings to, to do it. Uh, EFAP92 is hands down my favorite one, and you don't even watch a video, you just chat with John about whatever you wanted. Yeah, I'm pretty fond of that. Uh, I mean, I, I really, yeah, I really, really like that episode. It's something to keep in mind was that was, like, the proper first time that me and Fringy met John, and we had, like, yes. a lot and of respect. Of course, <laughs> big, big, uh, fans and inspired by what he did, like, the stuff that he made. So, yeah, that was a really cool episode. Um... XQC looks like a stereotypical bully character in the 90s teen movie. Uh, I don't know about... No, I, don't I wouldn't think say so. that. Maybe... Okay. I feel... No. Certainly no. not in the 80s, because the 80s, they were always Ah, uh, No, in the 80s, they were always... Uh, the, they weren't, they the weren't like a rake. They were always like a big... 
uh, yeah. be it fat, Whereas old, now, or be it built. Now you know? maybe you'd see that. Now maybe that would be something that's more likely. I was thinking of 90s bullies in sort of I feel school. like in the 90s, he would be like the main character. <laughs> He'd be like... Well, not the main character, but one of the like supporting characters. You know how like if the if you had the nerd, usually had yeah. like the nerd who was way more normal, and then like his weird friends. He'd be one of the weird friends. <laughs> um, how bold? How is bold an insult? Cancer patients are bold. Oh god, an XQC would probably <laughs> like. He'd wow, probably look at you, say you are something bold. Real. Yeah. Uh, thanks for the awesome content. Um, Back to lurking. Fair enough. Right yeah. Lord Longbong of Mubschlington Abbey. Is there any good chance of a Kong fap of Peter Jackson's Long Kong when there's less going on? It'll be a movie fap for the ages. P.S. Hello, Wagsies. Scritches for the good boy. Hello. Well, I feel like that's probably going to happen at some point. In the, uh, Eventually, the Long surely. Kong, yeah. Give it time and we'll jump right into the long verse. Uh. Don't let all this molding distract you from the fact that the Quake 2 remaster is awesome and Diablo 4 is a trash fire. Also high rags. Hello. It was a Quake 2 remaster? Missed that, I guess. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Uh, Muller, accuse rags of being bold when he denies it because he's a dog. Accuse him of being mad and bold. Okay, rags, you're bold. I am not bald, I am a dog. No, you're just mad and bold. Oh, I I am not mad. You are defeated. <laughs> that is it. Ray. XQC is the reason why we have to have warning labels. Pretty good we have warning labels, I guess, then. I'd say so. Yeah. XQC, slow down and enunciate, you gibbering lemon. You can, can be comprehensible if you just didn't try to speedrun a second language you don't understand. He's, uh, you don't really know how that sort of thing ends up happening. It almost feels like... No, but, you know, I don't know. I've noticed something that, uh, whenever her son reads out chats, he'll read them out in a really fast, monotone way. If it was, I, like, I don't know what the deal with that is either. Mm. It seems like we got, you gotta, you gotta be fast, you know? You gotta be quick because that's what keeps people's attention or because you yourself don't have that much of an attention span. <laughs> I don't know. But, I, yeah, I have no idea how you end up in a place where that's the way that he talks. I don't get it. People uh, are saying it's Quebecers, like, that that's the accent that people have in Quebec. Like, come on. Mm. <laughs> are you telling me that all French Canadians sound like that? Mm. Well, we've had plenty of people send messages in saying I'm French Canadian. I do not sound like that. It's like, yeah, well, I figure. I mean, do you even need to be convinced of that? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know a lot of French Canadians, yeah. but I've never heard someone speak like XQC. So I feel yeah, exactly. like uh, I don't believe that, that is a, there's a whole set of people that speak exactly like that. No. Um, unrelated hot take. While FMA Brotherhood has the better story, FMA 03 is the better show overall. I would show 03 to a non-anime fan, but be worried about showing them Brotherhood. Also, hi, Rax. Hello. So, I don't know if you knew this, uh, Fringy, possibly Rags, I'm not sure, but FMA 03, being the anime adaptation of the manga, was completed before FMA the manga was finished itself, so they had to make their own ending. And then Brotherhood... Oh was made after the source was complete. And so the way it was sold to me by the person who showed me FMA Brotherhood was that O3 had the worst ending and it was because they had they didn't have rails to stick to, right? A source to work with. But there's some stuff in there that's cool in terms of a difference between that and Brotherhood, but the Brotherhood was the better one. And Brotherhood is the first anime that I managed to get through because I was like actually hooked into it. Like there were oh, other anime okay. I'd seen where I was just like, meh. Um then I think Code Geass I saw after that, and One Punch Man was not long after that, and I was just like, fuck, that was, that was pretty neat. I like that one. Thumbs up. Okay. Um, but I would recommend FMA Brotherhood to most people. I don't think I would worry about the whole, like, oh, but, you know, the non-anime fans, like, I mean, they're not a fan of just... If you don't like anime, Sorry. then I guess you're fucked anyway. Yeah. Um, I've said this many times before, but it will never not astonish me just how extraordinarily ineloquent XQC is. Yeah. Extraordinarily yeah. is a good way to describe it. Yeah. It is a bit extraordinary. A shilling for the reaction to the debate about the drama over the response to the video about the thing meter. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. How scuffed does a 10 minute tattoo look? It depends uh, what it's of. And it depends who did it, right? 
Yeah, mm. I mean, a 10-minute tattoo, if it's really simple, it might not take 10 minutes to do a tattoo. If it's just like a little simple a smiley symbol face or, or something. something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Or like a one letter, maybe. Uh, yeah. Hi, Rags. But it doesn't seem it. like the kind of thing you want to rush, uh, but hello. Yeah, hey. Hi, Mola. Hi, everyone. Hello. If you listen very closely, you can actually hear your brain cells dying whenever XQC opens his mouth. Wow. Oh, that's not noise I was hearing. Mm. I knew it was something. I, I should have mentioned something, but I didn't. I, I thought it was just me, you know. Uh, do XQC and his editor share one half of a brain? <laughs> oh. They, they have don't a quarter share that reach. <laughs> like, yeah. Never mind. Me just paying for my content. Hi, Raggles. Hello. Thank you. And on that previous one, by the way, I was just thinking, like, yeah, because the, the editor fucked him over so hard in that debate without realizing it. Uh, it's this kind of stuff you can't... That's why some people prefer this stuff to TV shows, because TV shows just aren't written that that. that yeah, friendly. like, no one would really do that. This is just here for well, drama. I'm not even kidding. Compare that kind of uh, twist in the story and how hilarious it is like to anything Dave Filoni wrote in Ahsoka. It's just like... <laughs> like, real life is somehow more interesting, I guess, than your prepared content that's supposed to be dramatic and twisty and conflicting and stuff. Hi, Rags. Hello. At this point, it feels like a 4D chess move from PVC's editor wanting to make uh, KFC look bad, but god, this is cringe. Hi, Froggy. Hi, Mubes. Hello. Hi. Um, I mean, most people would assume their editor is trying to sabotage them, but in that case, I actually <laughs> think it wasn't yeah. that. It was... No, I don't, I don't think so. I think they fucked up. I, th I think it's a fuck up that's hilarious, but also, I can understand how it happened. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, if I put together all the times you haven't reacted, I can show that you create the exact same thing that you're criticizing him for, and it's like, yeah, but yeah. that's... I'm gonna lay this out for you, apparently, because holy shit. Yeah. Uh, Rags has too high a skill floor to play XQC. Oh my goodness. To play XQC. The difficult impression. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's an AP. It's a crazy chat. It's kind of insane, you know. <laughs> Why does he sound like that? <laughs> bold, 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 bold. My eyes. So much bold, it's everywhere. Uh, it's honestly impressive how incapable of basic logic XQC is. Like it takes a special kind of special to be that inept. Um, I, like I said, I, I have no idea uh, how he got his voice to be that way or his thinking patterns, but, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, Canadian education system has some special uh, results. I don't know. Is it, is it not just, um, you know, you, you, you think of the term, like, a stream of consciousness, mm -hmm. like, goddamn, <laughs> I think, I feel like he, that's, that's him, but taken to an extent that is, if like, a literal. A little man in our brains that has all yeah. the thoughts that come in on pages and then he approves them and sends them out or throws them in the bin or does something. Like, the XQC executed that bad inside his head long ago. <laughs> the pages <laughs> just fly right out. Uh, ironically, this whole affair has given you over 24 hours of entirely original and transformative content. If it's that easy, why can't they do it? Um, if it's that easy. I don't know, man. If it's that easy. They still use the thing of like I'm streaming ten hours every day, all days of the week. Sometimes Which, I don't I need know a why break. that's in Yeah, so then walk away and then put a BRB screen up. That's not fair. Because that'll make people leave. Like, yeah, you can take a break or just replay your old like your highlights or something. Yeah. Just... No. Yeah, none of that. It's an opportunity. You should take yep. your opportunities. That's the key. Um, I'm gonna put Fringy's vinyl in a jar and fill it with Fringy's goo. You can't stop me, Metal. <laughs> uh, was Metal the one that would stop people from doing that? <laughs> also, would like to buy five records to listen to one EFAP episode. Yeah, that's pretty much where we would be at if you wanted to we start putting them on vinyl records. Uh, that's interesting. Finally cracked it. XQC's gibberish sounds like Glep from Smiling Friends, except Glep had talent and charm and a work ethic. I Fringo would write. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. But I, I'd say that, I guess, yeah, I can see the similarity, because it's just like, yeah, I'm just going to put yeah. chat at the end, and then Glep is basically XQC, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Glep is basically XQC, yeah. 
Uh, just saw YMS say reaching out was pointless because some Redditor said not everyone has the means to go to film festivals. Dude can seethe. Yeah, you seem to be, from yeah, that Reddit comment, a little upset about everyone's reaction to film festivals. Uh, that's one of them just uh, disconnections from both sides. The, the people who do go and do not go to film festivals don't associate uh, well with each other, I guess. I don't know, but... Uh, I feel like I'm quite a film person, and I, I don't in, really intend to go to a film festival. As I said on the stream, the only time I probably would is if I was going with friends. Even then, though, if I were, you know, if me, Rags, and Fringy met up, and we were like, what can we do? And you think of all the things we could do, and one of them was a film festival, I would still be like, it'll, it'll have to be a film we all wanted to see, and we can only see in that festival, because otherwise I'd rather watch films in a cinema or at home whatever home we'd have, whatever theater we'd have access to, you know, because then we can have our own drinks and food and pause whenever we want and go to the toilet if we need to, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I just, um, the experience is always preferable in the alternative. And then, of course, uh, that's someone who has the time to go to film festivals. Plenty of people just aren't going to incorporate that, it, you know. Well, and I guess the the more fundamental one would be is that a lot of people, I would say a lot of people don't want to gamble when they go to like the movies, which is, I don't know if that's like necessarily a great thing because it probably limits uh, the kinds of things that people might end up seeing. But I got to imagine that going to a film festival is a little more of a gamble, <laughs> like yeah. Yeah. especially if you're just like a normie moviegoer. Um, yeah, and then I don't know, a lot of people aren't that. I don't know how many how many how many people who play video games go to like gaming conventions. You know, how many people do that versus just like play video games at home? Yeah. Um, more. I'm currently making a video containing the origin and every major reference for every EFAP meme from episodes one to fifty. Where can I send it to you for consideration for the anniversary meme selection? Well, as long as it ends up in uh. Either the Discord, the Discord's probably the best place to submit it. I think James Moore is still the one that filters them into the meme section. Every once in a while, I get a good look at those and uh, then filter them into episodes that we can run. So um, that should be an all right place. Uh, it's an AP Royal Oak is about fifty grand from the standard one. This one is probably two hundred plus grand. Okay, I'm not sure what to make of that, but all right. Um, you guys are dumbos, but at least not as dumbo as XQC. All that money and he won't feed his brain. Poor little guy needs all the sustenance it can get. Oh, and play DDLC. Perhaps someday. Uh, yeah, you gotta water your jab, you know? Thing. Yes, if your jabs don't grow, then nowhere you'll go. Yeah, that's, that's the reason that's a saying. It was uh, Henry VIII that said that, I think, right? One of them. One of them. It's hard to keep track, there's too many. Uh, is it thief or is it not thief? Well, nobody likes to be called a thief, so... No, no they don't. We are hitting levels of Twitch midwit never seen before. I don't know if we've never seen it before. And I don't know if we should say midwit. Hmm. Um, These are special in a, you know, daunting kind of sad way. Mid isn't really going to capture it, I don't think. Uh, XUC is incapable of rotating an apple in his head. Is that an indicator of something? He's incapable of rotating an apple in his head? Well, to, like, imagining an apple and then imagining it rotating. Yeah, He's but some rotating. people aren't visual thinkers, right? Yeah, isn't there, like, tiers of visual thinking or whatever, and then you find out there are people out there who can't, like, picture things in their head, which makes you feel well, like an alien? yeah. I uh I know that the thing that's kind of baffled me is people saying they don't think in words. That one is surprising to me. They don't think in words. Like that they don't think with words, like with with like almost audible like language your interior in their head. Voice speaking that out loud. Inner, like your... Yeah, that they don't have like an inner voice. That's strange because I definitely have an inner voice. I just but like think to myself in like sentences and thoughts. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. I do too, but I've heard people say that they don't they don't think in thoughts. Well, another one is being able to um like play music in your head, sort of thing. Yeah, which uh, damn man, that that's uh that's a shame. It's gonna if you suck can't if you do can't that. do that stuff. I thought that yeah. was normal. That was just a <laughs> like uh, like. Isn't it amazing the human brain can do this? Yeah. Yeah, and I wonder what that is, if it's just a difference between everyone's sort of genetic code almost, or if it's something you train. I don't know. 
Maybe. Some of it probably has to do with, like, IQ. Some of it probably has to do with how you're taught or, like, your early development stuff, but I'm not sure. Uh, if XQC debated organized chaos, all the brain cells in the universe would shrivel up and die from the overwhelming stupidity. But it would probably be funny. It probably would be funny. XQC being this stupid and this rich makes me sad. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> well, I don't know. He's, yeah. Uh, he's clearly adding value to the world. You can't deny it. Of course smaller content creators aren't going to complain. XQC's fans will easily dogpile the guy. It's a big thing to consider. Yes, it's not yeah. a great position to be in. Go after that's kind of like weird that that's something that could be dismissed, which is that a lot of people don't want to pick a fight, and they certainly don't want to pick a fight with a big YouTuber or mm -hmm. big, you know, Twitch streamer. Uh, Snake Rate sounds like a cool Fallout enemy. Snake, Snake Rate. Rate. Okay. This whole arc has been pure cringe. See you in 250. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's fair. There was no React stuff in 250. Instead, we no. were talking, uh, we did some trolley problems in 250. Of yeah, all that Wisecrack video fucking sucked. <laughs> yes, it did. Remember, turn off the faucet between usages and recycle those plastics or else I'll turn you into a fucking tree, Captain Planet. Wait, are there people who leave their faucets just, like, on? Or maybe they don't check that they're fully turned off. Oh, like dripping, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, Sitch, check your Discord DMs, please. Well, this was a while ago, so maybe he did. Who knows? Uh, kick him out. Take his coat. Don't give Dev his coat. Because he left early, that bastard. Oh yeah, he didn't catch all of it, but he caught, he caught a lot of it, to be fair. Yeah. It makes less sense that Ethan would reveal his time machine. That's true, I've ever read that one out. Like, why would he tell you about his time machine? <laughs> 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 it's not why. Um, if XQC is 9-11, YouTube may respond with the Patriot Act. Good luck. You mean, like, are you doing a meme, or are you saying, like, that he could do the equivalent of causing, like, an overwhelming sort of policy that would affect everybody in a particular way? I don't know. Maybe um, he is big enough. I mean, it might just take that enough. one company making that one, you know. Well, luckily for us, it would more so affect Twitch, I think, right? The whole copyright stuff. Because YouTube's already got YouTube's like, cracked draconian down. fucking copyright. It doesn't need anything else. So it's probably going to get worse. I want hooked on phonics with XQC. All right. Uh, long time viewer, first time chatter, stay classy, you massives. Also, in the words of the Prophet XQC, bald. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Reminds me of when Moist Critical beat XQC in chess in six moves in a tournament live in front of thousands. You should see it if you haven't. That does sound pretty fun. Though, to be fair... I mean, if, yeah, that can happen, though. You well, know? So, well, like, with a really it's good not mood. about that. It's, it's about, like, how familiar are both of them with chess? Was Charlie, like, yeah, super trained on it, or...? Chess is the kind of thing that, you, you know, it takes practice to get good at. Uh, by the way, there is proof that XQC is literally balding. You can look it up. That's why he has the hairstyle. There's nothing wrong well, with I mean, balding. To, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it, but when you... Well, when you talk about how everybody else is balding, and then you are... I guess that's going to be well, his uh, his hero's journey. <laughs> He's going to have to... Realizing just... that he... <laughs> you have to... This is his... This is the... What's, what's five out of eight? Because it's eight steps, right, for the hero's journey. What's number five again? Being bald, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, let me, let me double check. Hero's journey. And, uh... Because I... Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So... Uh oh! Well, uh, no, the abyss. That's where he, he's nearly that's at the where abyss. He looks in the mirror and sees all of his. Well, yeah, that's right. Out. Because it's uh, because you got the call to adventure, and then uh, the threshold, the beginning of the transformation, then all the challenges, and then yeah, the abyss, the death and rebirth, and then the transformation, and then atonement, and then return. He's not there yet. He's at the abyss, nearly there. All of this react drama, and then he falls into the abyss, and his hair starts to fall out. But then he. He returns bold, you know? Bold he and proud. He stands to the world. tall. Yeah, exactly. Standing tall, not with the little goblin, you know, <laughs> yeah. sitting on the chair thing. 
He'll become detached from the chair and his with he'll stand up straight with his shoulders back like Jordan Peterson. That's something Jordan Peterson said she meant to do, right? Probably, yeah. It's not uh, bad advice. <laughs> the chair guy. Hey, don't make fun of Chairly like that, Hassan. Yeah, the Chairly's a good lad. We don't, we don't we want to bring him into this. Gnome Quebec. Quebec. I can't. Yeah, I think Hassan it's pronounced Quebec. it funky, right? Think, right. Oh yeah, he, Quebec or something. Um, said, yeah. Which again, he said it so vitriolically, and it's like, what is your problem, dude? He does that. It always goes so, so. It doesn't matter where you're from. You'll just target that. Well, yeah, but, okay. the one with the Adam something guy, where he was just like he was yelling Hungarian like it was this insult in and of itself. Like, <laughs> he's such an asshole, man. He's just like, yeah, he just latches onto the first thing that comes to his mind and then yells it really loudly and and almost violently. And then it's like, ah, see, got him. Um. More, I don't know how Joseph Anderson thought Soma wasn't a horror game, just listening to your review it scared the shit out of me. Also, hi, Rags. Hello. Uh, the thing about it is, he he seemed to assess that we decide genre based on how the experience went for us individually, as in, you watch, let's say, fucking, I don't know, Alice in Wonderland, and you get so terrified, you're like, that's a strict psychological horror, that's what that is. And then, and then everyone comparatively, else... I don't know, you watch, like, um... Uh, uh, hmm, what would I, what would I be thinking of? I don't know, you watched, like, Saving Private Ryan and you were laughing the whole time, and it's yeah, like, it's yeah, see, now it's a comedy. Yeah, <laughs> but that's then, not how that works, is, it's he, just not. He, the he made realistic... a video where he said that, like, horror games, like, the horror games can't even succeed in scaring them anyway. Yeah, he, he did. So, like, what um, was even the point of saying that Soma isn't a horror game? There was no such thing, by his, uh, own account. Well, uh, the the whole thing's dumb anyway, because we know how genre works, it's all these, these genre trappings, this like, big Venn diagram of what makes each genre, there's some things that overlap, some things that usually you only find in the thing, and so, it doesn't have to have all of the things, but it'll have most of the things, one of the references I think we had was like, what makes a western, and it's like, oh, well, it, there's a lot of things that mm. we know, but... Does it have to have all of those individual things? Like not. And then what about modifiers like space western or exactly. uh, like supernatural? And then you realize like, like we're not doing it to restrict or reward the thing. It's just to let everyone else know what they can expect. And when you say yeah, so much horror, it's perfectly representative of the kind of uh, things that are in the game, and also more than likely the experience you'll get. Just because you played a game and went, eh, I wasn't that spooked. It's like, well, it's not no. Now. Remember, the amendment is just because you don't believe it is possible for a horror game to exist by your own definitions doesn't mean that it's not a horror game. Like, it feels like that's worth noting. Well, wasn't um, his big point in the horror games don't scare me that because it's interactive, it's like impossible for him to be scared? I believe so. Yeah. And he said That's the closest <laughs> that he gets is like the rogue, rogue sort of games. Uh, yeah. About it. Which again, I'm not sure how he squares the uh, way in a movie where it's not happening to him. Well, and we, we so like, I think we went over it when we covered it, but it's just like so you can't ever watch a horror thing more than once. Once you've watched no, it the first time, right. it's over. Once it, once you watch it the first time, it's incapable of scaring you. Just just not. Um, and I'm almost fascinated by that as a conversation on its own, but not in the framing of what Joe Fanderson thinks. But like, <laughs> how do you find something scary when you see it for the second time when you've seen it already? And it's like, well, how do you find a scene tense even though you know exactly how it ends? It's like, well, that's just the mm -hmm. magic of movie making to some extent because I can watch T2 over and over again, and when the T1000 is finishing off the T800 in like the big fight they have, or is it T850 at that point? I remember him being an upgrade. Uh, no, I think I think it was still the T eight hundred in Terminator two, and it was the T eight fifty in uh three. Oh, okay. Um, but in any case, like you, st I still get the feeling of oh no, like if he loses here, we can't protect, you know. And it's like you know how this yeah. ends, and it's like yeah, I know, but like this, you know, you just immersion, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. no... and um... which I suppose is a funny thing when you compare it to a horror game, which is that horror games because of their interactivity can find novel they ways refresh, to scare yeah. you. And, um, you know, fundamentally, like, the way to explain this best is to be like, I would call Ghostbusters 2016, it's it's a comedy. You'd be like, what? It's, it's a, yeah, like, exactly. It's a bad comedy, it's, but it's a comedy. It's trying to be a comedy. It is. It's just not very good at it. Hi, Rex. Hello. Uh, when I start an EFAP episode late, I watch in two times speed to catch up. All the XQC content has made that impossible. His words are imperceivable at that rate. Hell, they're barely perceivable at normal rates. Yeah, I figure. It's, uh, we have trouble with it anyway, but you can't, yeah, whenever we cover him, you, you can't go times two. Sorry, guys. No, it's impossible. I thought we'd cover that, but it'll be like... <laughs> <laughs>
Then he would sound like uh, from Smiling Friends. Yeah. <laughs> when is Interstellar review? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Has anyone seen Hassan and Sitch in the same room? Didn't think so. Ooh. <laughs> Sitch? What we it's Sitch's Fight Club hiding. where Sitch finds out that Hassan is his alternate personality. God. He's covered him so much. They were they were just it's like they were built for each other. Yeah. Um your critiques are bold. True, true. Yeah, that's fair. I'm beginning to think XQC is actually like two or three eight year old Quebec Quebecois. Is that how Quebecois? Quebecois. Quebecois. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Quebecois. Um, yeah, they're boys in a French. trench coat. And one on the bottom is trying to translate English to French in real time to the one on top who's failing his ESL classes. This is a theory, yeah. I'm not going to say it's true or false. You know, it's just a theory. I assist with hair transplants, and I can say with all honesty that transplants are the best option. Hair plugs, however, are one of the worst. That's what I've always known to be true as well, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know much about the whole balding thing. I know I... about plugs because of Hellboy. Uh, there's a character right. in that film who has hair plugs, and they look awful. And I was like, "Yeah." And I remember asking my dad about it, and he was like, "Yeah, that's something people get, but it never looks good." And I was like, "So why do they get it? <laughs> like, is it maybe, cheaper than a hair transplant, or is a hair that, transplant and... a newer thing?" I'd have to imagine a, it's less invasive as well. Is that part of why people might choose it? Because transplant um, is that like a matter of removing the skin and putting different skin on your head to? Um, I don't know. I don't I, actually I know really how it works. But... I'm not very familiar with uh, balding stuff. All I know is the plugs don't look good, but transplants often do. Because Elon Musk is like one of the people who got a, tra a transplant, right? And his hair looks much better. Oh, did he? Yeah. Um. Well, here's, here's here's a personal question. If you were going bald, uh, would you just like if you if you started going bald today, uh, mm -hmm. would you just accept it, like shave all your hair off, and then just do that forever, or would you try to get treatment for it? Um, um, I think it depends on like how it looks and where it is. Because if it's if it's I, I don't and also I don't know I just don't know how effective treatments are for it. Um, you, well, let's say it's not that baldness. It's like normal baldness, but it starts happening to you now rather than you know when you're in your fifties or something. Uh -huh. I don't even know what normal baldness like uh, is because it kind of. I, I feel like the normal trajectory is um you know it's like how the, the oh, wait, hairline you... starts to recede at the sides of your. Uh, are you trying temple, to find out a know? specific thing, or are you just like would you would you want to make efforts to prevent yourself from appearing as you would naturally in terms of yes, how much hair you have? Yes, that's essentially my question. Uh, I think yes, I, I like having hair. Um, okay, but uh, I don't know how much if I was actually like if it was balding enough that I'd need to shave. I think I just would. I well, that's that's kind of my thinking. As I figure, I just I just shave it. I'm trying to think of like, uh, it, it would depend. Like, if if I had to go through a whole rigmarole to get it back to you know full head of hair, I'd just be like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. But um, but if it was like a switch and I have to pay like a hundred dollars or something, I'd be like, oh yeah, I guess I would. You know? What oh I mean? sure, like, sure. But I mean, I, I think that's almost baked into the question. Is it's going to be kind of expensive and it's, in that it's case be probably not. I, I don't think. I care that much. Okay. Yeah, because, like, I, don't, I I'm just curious because I don't really, uh... I understand why somebody would want to get treatment, especially if they started, like, going bald in their, like, 20s or in their 30s. Oh, yeah, I, I think totally that I totally understand why someone would want to get treatment for that. I'm not sure what age it would be exactly, but if I start going bald at a particular age, I'd probably just like, oh, fuck it, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, I figure if I start going bald when I'm in, like, my 50s or something, I'd be like, yeah, oh, yeah I mean, I had a good run, <laughs> you know? <laughs> So good. Uh, even toad ungulates, deer, giraffe, etc., called artiodactyls, and odd toad horses, rhinos, tapirs are perissodactyls, and technically crustaceans or cetaceans. It's cetaceans, cetaceans C are cetaceans. I think is what they're are uh, yeah. arti artiodactyls. Taxonomy is a weird science. I don't know, I like all those words. Oh, they yeah, sound... because we, uh, I think we're having a conversation about whether a giraffe was a horse, and that was something uh. that you said, Rags, which is not true. <laughs> giraffe is, giraffes aren't horses. I, okay, well, I remember we had a conversation where I think you were trying to make the claim that a giraffe was a horse, and I was the one pushing back against that. I don't that. think I that's what happened. I he... definitely, I never said horses were <laughs> What giraffe. was happening obviously was, not. is a giraffe <laughs> horse-like, or is a horse giraffe? -like? Oh, yeah, that sounds, yeah, 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 yeah. 
don't think he was saying like, a giraffe uh, is a horse. I feel like it's a matter of perspective, really, because horses are way more an important part of uh, human society than, than a giraffe. That you would say that giraffes are horse-like, rather than horses are giraffe-like. Sure. But like I said, that's just a matter of perspective. Um, you should have a vote to replace the Aussie with someone who has a thicker accent. A-team is better than S-class because he's sitting quietly. Wow. Both very cruel takes, if I may say. Well, to replace me with someone who has a thicker Australian accent. I mean, all of us could have thicker versions of the accents that we... Yeah, we uh, all no, could have thicker we versions. We've definitely moderated our accents. <laughs> <laughs> we sound more, um, normal. <laughs> Or maybe less normal, like it depends on oh, point of Less view. normal of anything, because it's something that happens to me more often where someone will be like, oh, are you not, like, from this country? <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I don't get that. I sound Australian. Dude, <laughs> Destiny <laughs> still thinks I'm from Australia. And I was like, what the fuck yeah, do you saying that? That, that, that <laughs> one's stupid. The idea that somebody who's from Wales sounds like they're from Australia. Like, what the fuck? If, if, you, if you said that about somebody who was, like, had a Cockney accent, I'd be like, okay, that's more acceptable. But it's still, you know, that's still no good. But Welsh, nah. Honestly, when Gila came on, I would have said I was trying to dunk on him. I'm not dissing Teddy Fresh at all. I want to keep it between me and Ethan. Oh, absolutely. You don't... The thing about it is, if there's criticism of Teddy Fresh, you need to come in with all of the facts because you're dealing yeah. with the two people who fucking own it and went exactly. through everything. They're going to annihilate you on the facts. And Yeah, but the problem is he, he has a really high estimation of his own... Yeah. I think that was, we, we talked about it. Ethan came into that debate with a clear strategy in mind. Um, yeah, and he beat the fuck out of him. Kicked his ass. Is his only tactic to make them mad by peppering in insults while being mad himself so he can scream bold and declare he won? <laughs> while being mad himself. If you remember, <laughs> part of his strat was to uh, only do insults in response to insults. He believes he was insulted first, and so then he started throwing them out. Yeah. Um, and Which, fair, he might have been insulted first, yeah. Yeah, but it, it, the reality is, like, you should just don't. Just don't give in. No, don't do it. Insults always make you look... There's Debate 101. Don't look mad. <laughs> all right? <laughs> it was surprising how much Seriously. you could be absolutely right, but you can throw it all away by being like... You're by looking fucking, mad. Yeah. I hate you. Well, the, the thing is, is that uh, as annoying as it is, the making the best arguments isn't, like, what it takes to convince people that you win. Uh, at least not exclusively. No, yeah, if you make all the best arguments, but you sound really angry. Yeah, exactly. Being right helps, but uh, it actually won't get you all the way if the other person's more rhetorically effective and look calm. <laughs> yeah, just well, I mean, and to be fair, there is there is a lot of value in the like. Yeah, you shouldn't be going crazy and saying insane. No, things. chill out, chill out. Exactly. <laughs> Even if you're really I mean, this, mad, this is, just this is sort chill of out. subtextual. Like, why would I want to agree with that guy? I don't want to be anything like that guy. <laughs> that guy's yeah, nuts. Yeah, which is kind of funny. Um, Chad Wim versus Virgin Bald. <laughs> when he got on the ground. <laughs> <Chad> Wim, that... <laughs> what was that? Don't he know. got on the ground. <laughs> so this is what they mean by doing the worm. Yep. Just so you know, there are skateboard decks, I'm pretty sure. High-end boards come with customizable parts. You can switch tracks, trucks, the metal axles, wheels and bearings on each one of those decks. Fair enough. I don't know anything about XUC or whether or not he's a skateboarder, but I guess he might be. Uh, so XUC not only steals the work of other creators, but he also steals the earnings from his own chair. Yeah, that chair deserves its own salary. A lot of effort. <laughs> EFAP movie suggestion, Bakshi's Lord of the Rings. I could see us doing that someday. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be interested to see other, you know, all the iterations of that series. What the fuck? See Watching on. Compare. Yeah, because I already I've seen videos comparing them before, and it's fascinating the uh, difference in choices based on the source. Uh, what the fuck? Watching on one point five, even one point two five is almost too fast. Yeah, it can be. Um, can lock picking lawyer unlock your mask, Muller? There are a lot of lockpickers on YouTube that could easily do so. They are uh, fantastic at their jobs, all right? Devil fruit for you, which we now... Oh, I was supposed to say, we... we uh, I certainly have more context for the devil fruits now. The, 
the, the, the point of these questions was that you live in a world that's essentially constantly surrounded by water and you, you're, you're on a ship, so, you know, the whole losing the ability to swim thing is much more relevant. Um, and it's not even just losing the ability to swim, it's that, like, if you're dropped into a pool, you're just gonna die. Because, like, you, it's not necessarily, like, you you just, you're weakened to the point where you can't do anything. At least that's the impression I got. Right. Um, so. So, yeah, it's kind of a real trade-off in that world. Yeah. One for each will you eat. Uh, never again swim in the sea. Uh, wait, th these aren't... Oh, they give me the names of them, but they haven't told me what they are. Oh. I don't know if, how easy this is or not. Let me see if this works. Um, God, there's gotta be like a million devil fruit then. Think of the episodes that they probably come across people all the time that have new ones. Um, so the first one is for rags, and it's Buki Buki, which uh, gives the user the ability to change their body part into weapons. Um, no. Any particular reason? I don't know why I would need to do that. I have, like, actual weapons that I don't have to attach to my, I mean, like, I've got actual weapons. Mm-hmm. And I'd want to be able to be in water, or touch it, you know? Yeah, alright, well, seems pretty straightforward. Bringy, yours to ask is the Beta Beta, which is... Allows users to create and control mucus. What, and then I don't get to swim ever again? Yeah, I guess you're the Magneto of mucus, but you can't swim. Uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> I don't know, uh, yeah, that was, uh... Some of these seem more cursy than others. Like, you know the whole stretching one that Luffy has? That seems like a pretty well, good makes one. makes you invulnerable. That's, that's a really good one. Yeah, but yeah. controlling people's mucus. Um, we'll have to answer this, I guess, in general, because it's for metal. He's got Baku Baku, which is... Allows the user to eat anything. Well, like, metabolize it and get some benefit from it, or just... Presumably. It. Okay, because, I mean... I. Yeah, but I don't know how often I'd want to eat something that isn't food. Oh, wait. <laughs> it know? says, but you then later manifest those things from your body. I Like, you can eat it and then use it later? I think it means, okay. like, if you ate a bowling ball or something, you would, like, come out of you eventually. Or what, you shit out a bowling ball? Like, you'd have to know. squeeze it out of your ass. <laughs> I don't... I, okay. Building is such uh, that consumed objects can be merged into and manifest from the user's body or combined to create something else. Um, I'm just going to say no for uh, the sake no, of not understanding what no. the fuck this is going to be. Yeah, I don't think I want that. Too risky. Um, and then the one for me is Atto Atto. Is allows the user to turn people or objects that they touch into art. Jesus. No. Into art? Um, I mean, I can't no. touch anyone. No, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that. It's a turn that off and on like, thing, but I still wouldn't want to. That like King Midas, you know? That's yeah, I don't, like I don't think shit. so. <laughs> <laughs> turn people into art. That sounds horrifying. Yeah, what does that mean? You touch somebody, they get, like, converted into a painting. They're like, so. and then get turned into a you know, portrait. Um, I hate how analytics is talked as damages. The showing of the video is the damage. XQC doesn't understand his liability. How much dollars, how much money would a 50 minute ad be on his stream? $25,000? He watches a 40 a week. That's 1 million in damages. Could he pay that? Would he? 10 times that? There's a lot of, um, uh, parts to this that are difficult to understand in terms of where the pieces are gained and lost. Um, something that was suggested, I can't remember if it was a super chat, but that if the format work that it fed all of the viewers that he currently had into the video, as though they were being watching the video Which themselves. Point, I mean, this, it just sounds like another kind of license, you know? Yeah, well, like, uh, it, it sounds it like something that we'd all be on board with. Have. But I wonder, if, <laughs> I wonder if the but streamers would be on board with, with that. Yeah, I wonder yeah. if they, or they'd they be like... got minimal utility from those, uh, those videos. And if, through some technological magic, that was always how it worked, you couldn't actually play a video that didn't feed your current viewers into that video if you weren't just doing your own thing. And I wonder if they would be like, no, I can't do that, it doesn't benefit me enough. Oh, that would be such a great test. Yeah. I'm back. Interview went well. I wanted to thank you guys for encouraging me to become more articulate and confident over the years. I hope this is enough of a start. Also, Rags, thoughts on Ultra Kill? I haven't played it. 
Oh, I have. It's cool. It's a cool game. I think they've added new levels, so I should uh boot it up again. It's a, it's a cool like uh Doom inspired uh shooter with like a sort of uh 32. Would you say like PlayStation graphics? It's like 32 bit. I, I don't know. <laughs> that seems like what they get called that kind of art style, like mm -hmm. uh low poly kind of thing. Yeah, it's a cool game. Um, and yeah, good stuff on your interview. I'm glad it went well. Mm -hmm. It makes me sad to see something so nice from a craftsmanship perspective be so crap from an art perspective. Referring to the watch when you read this in a month, lol. Although it might be 2.5 weeks. Oh, the, the watch that XUC has? So, something that's nice from <laughs> craftsmanship, but crap from an art perspective. And it just looks, uh... It just reminds me again of The Simpsons, the watch that has the big jewels in it so that the, the, the hand can't move. It's like so over We bought it because it, it was expensive, and that's the only reason. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To brag about how expensive it is. The chair wars begun, they have. True. Please, the Don, gift us Hassan versus XQC debate. <laughs> I don't think that would happen, but. Just imagine. When Ethan asks XQC if he's watched the unedited version of his podcast, there's this nice micro expression of contempt and scorn. It's so pronounced. Um, well, because that's that's the thing, right? If you're presenting something as proof, and then you say in response, have you seen the unedited version of the thing you're presenting? That's such a, like, oh, shit. Because if you haven't, you know exactly where Ethan's going next. And so you, like, you'd just be angry you, if you were him, because you're just like, oh, great. I haven't even seen the edited version, let alone the unedited version. That was the position that the editor put XQC in. Didn't work out well. Hello, EFAP. I've gained my driver's permit in the time this stream took. Thanks for always being an inspiration, Massives. Well, congratulations. Good to hear. Keep at it. Driving is fun, from what I hear. Oh, yeah, that's right. You can't drive. I won't drive. But XQC paid actors are on strike right now. Uh oh, <laughs> that's true. He don't let the union know that he's taking some side gigs. Uh, this... This harder to watch than the Wings boogie fight. That wasn't hard to watch, that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I want the second one of that. Uh, you could have a painting of a happy family originally titled Life in the 1950s. You could take the exact same painting and retitle it A Study in Abuse. Would that change slash transform the art? Not significantly enough. Um, you can obviously, that'll change a lot of how people interpret the piece they're looking at. But I don't think either any of us would say that that's sufficient. You've just stolen their work and changed the title, which is fucked up. Mm. I'm so happy that Fringy subscribes to the It's Jova meme. I love you every day. Aww. It's just kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Jova and Biden is, like, funny. as <laughs> just a oh, fusion no. of words. I was confused the first me, time you started saying It's Biden. I was like, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> you yeah, went, well, I don't think God. I know that one. I got by it's done. Jover. Oh, it's, by it's done. Jover. It's by done. Yeah, by done. done. Oh, it? okay. Okay. Um, hey, Rags, can you check the Yu-Gi-Oh card called Warrior Tarot? Warrior Tarot. And, uh, oh, hey, look at that. Let me uh, get you a picture. Boop, doop. God. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. When a card on the field is destroyed by battle or by a card effect, return this face-up card to its owner's hand. Oh, Interesting. <laughs> look at him. Well, yeah, I hope he makes it. Uh, <laughs> and the final message, Chris Rock ignored Fringy's first law of bald. Um, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's that. Jeez. Thank you all very much for sending in your messages. We appreciate it, and uh, yeah, apologies. Thank you, everybody. We took a bit of time to get to these. Uh, we're catching up every day. We're getting closer and closer. So, mm. um, thank you all very much. But for now, we're gonna head out. So, see you around, folks. Bye. Yeah, we will see you guys later. Bye, bye.